Good morning, everyone. Your morning weather briefing for this August 7th finds that there are no major changes in the forecast versus what I presented yesterday. Temperature rainfall outlooks this morning. Uh, all of these maps look very, very similar to uh, what I showed yesterday. Uh, temperatures running near to at times uh, modestly above normal in the Corn Belt for the next two weeks. Do not see any uh, real extreme heat during that time frame. Any extreme heat will be uh, just for a brief period of time for very late this week and into the weekend for the northern plains and up into the Canadian prairies. Uh, quite limited rainfall in the forecast uh, for the Corn Belt, especially for tomorrow uh, through about Tuesday before some rainfall chances return after that for latter portions of the 6 to 10 day time frame and into the 11 to 15 day period. Lots of details all to be worked out regarding that rainfall threat. QPF discussion for the 1 to 5 day time frame. I'm not going to have any major disagreements versus uh, this forecast. Uh, maybe have some concerns about the type of big rain shown in southwestern portions of Arkansas, but again, I do not have any uh, real evidence to uh, mount a big argument against what is shown. A lot of the rain that is shown there for the Corn Belt is going to be occurring during the next 24 hours. Uh, the bulk of the rain that is shown for the southern plains and the mid south will be getting started for late tonight, and then a daily threat of rainfall for those areas for the remainder of this period. Period. For the day six to seven time frame, good model agreement on the rainfall forecast for this period with minimal amounts of rain continuing in the Corn Belt and a daily threat of rainfall continuing during this period for the southern plains eastward through the Mid-South and the Southeast. Afternoon high temperatures yesterday saw some 90 plus degree heat once again in the southern portion of the Corn Belt. Uh, the real extreme heat yesterday once again in those uh, drier southwestern portions of the Corn Belt region. Otherwise mild temperatures to the north with highs in the 70s and 80s. Uh, 18 hour rainfall totals uh, through 1 o'clock this morning. Uh, scattered areas of very significant rains in eastern and northeastern portions of this Corn Belt. Also some scattered areas of nice rains in some portions of the western Corn Belt as well. Uh, you can see all of this on radar estimated rainfall since 7 o'clock this morning. The various areas of the Corn Belt that have seen uh, significant or even localized heavy amounts of rainfall since yesterday morning. And the radar remains very active on this Tuesday morning as well. Uh, the bulk of the activity located in southern portions of the Corn Belt. But we're also seeing some scattered rains uh, further north as well in portions of Minnesota and into central Iowa. As far as the forecast is concerned, the uh, uh, radar again pretty active here early on this Tuesday, but as usual we'll see that activity uh, weakening during the morning hours, probably never uh, completely ending during the day, and then as usual we will be seeing some uh, renewed activity during the afternoon hours. Here you can see the uh, expected look of the radar as of around 7 o'clock this evening, uh, showing uh, additional scattered showers and thunder showers in the Corn Belt at that time that will continue uh, during the nighttime hours, but after that we're looking at uh, Again, very limited rains across the bulk of the Corn Belt for tomorrow through at least Tuesday of next week. Uh, any sort of significant rains during that time frame mainly confined to portions of Michigan, Ohio, and in areas near the Ohio River. Uh, the central and northern plains also very dry during that time frame. Uh, same period, though, will be featuring wonderful rains uh, falling in the southern plains eastward through the mid-south with a daily threat of rainfall in that area. And there you can see uh, just five-day rainfall totals in that area through the weekend, probably some additional rains occurring even on Monday of next week in the Mid-South and the Southern Plains could uh, actually see rainfall right through the end of the 10-day forecast period on a consistent basis. Why is it going to be dry in the Corn Belt? Again, uh, the models were in error uh, during the early and middle portion of last week and indicating a northwesterly flow aloft in the uh, period from later on this week through early next week in the Corn Belt. Instead, we're seeing a split jet stream, uh, one, uh, the main storm track running well to the north of the Corn Belt. Uh, this is as of 7 o'clock in the morning for this coming Sunday. Again, one storm track running well to the north of the Corn Belt, a weaker uh, upper level low pressure system, a weaker storm track to the south of the Corn Belt at that time, and it is that uh, weaker southern storm track and that upper level low over the Texas Panhandle that will be keeping rainfall chances in the forecast for the southern plains eastward through the mid-south and southeast on a consistent basis for the rest of this week through very early portions of next week. As far as temperatures are concerned, some moderation in temperatures in the near term for the Corn Belt. Uh, going to be very difficult to see any high temperatures above 90 degrees in any portion of the Corn Belt for the next uh, two to three days. You can see some a fairly decent uh, area of below normal temperatures, uh, especially for tomorrow in central and some southern portions of the Corn Belt. A uh, warming trend going to be taking place after that. By the time we get to Friday, uh, above normal temperatures returning to the Corn Belt. And we'll be seeing uh, different periods of normal to modestly above normal temperatures 
temperatures in the Corn Belt for the rest of the two-week time frame. At no point, though, do I see the uh, heat being extreme in the Corn Belt during that period. Uh, any extreme heat that is going to be seen uh, from uh, later on this week through the end of the two-week time frame is mainly going to be uh, up in the northern plains and into Canada for the very end of this week. Uh, there you can see an extensive area of temperatures running easily above, if not much above normal for this Friday, uh, probably the Thursday through Saturday time frame being an especially hot period of weather in that area. Should be seeing lots of 90 to 95 plus degree heat in the northern plains and into the Canadian prairies for that time frame with some places getting above 100. But again, for the Corn Belt, really do not see much in the way of extreme heat, even with the return to some warmer temperatures uh, for Friday and beyond. I look for plenty of days for Friday right through the end of the two week time frame to be featuring highs in the Corn Belt, uh, mainly on the order of about 83 to 93 degrees with most of the 90 plus degree heat being found in far western as well as southwestern portions of the Corn Belt region. As far as those longer term rainfall chances are concerned, I do believe that we could be starting to see some rains returning to the Corn Belt by around the Tuesday, Wednesday time frame of next week for around the August 14th, 15th period with rainfall chances continuing into the 11 to 15 day time frame as well. Uh, maybe of some note this morning is that the European model actually brings uh, some fairly uh, significant rains to western portion of the Corn Belt for the Tuesday, Wednesday time frame of next week. It has a fairly significant upper level low pressure system at that time uh, that kind of drifts uh, northeastward into the western Corn Belt at that time. I think that the chances of that verifying as shown are pretty remote, but again, I do think that we'll start to see some rainfall chances in the Corn Belt starting around Tuesday of next week. Uh, the upper level features as of Tuesday, you can see that the, uh, the storm track of the jet stream starting to sink further southward into the Corn Belt at that time. That should again start to be bringing some rainfall chances, even as we get towards the middle portion of the 11 to 15 day period. Still uh, above normal temperatures in the Corn Belt at that time, still a northwesterly flow aloft. To me, that's a weather pattern that would suggest rainfall chances in the Corn Belt. As I've stated many times, a northwesterly flow aloft in the Corn Belt in the summertime is a type of weather pattern that the models have all sorts of difficulty in determining exact rainfall forecast details much more than a few days in advance. So all that we can say right now is that rainfall chances should be increasing in the Corn Belt for latter portion of the 6 to 10 day time frame and into the 11 to 15 day period as a northwesterly flow aloft starts to return to the Corn Belt at that time. Exactly how significant and widespread those rains are is something that needs to be determined and that will not be determined until we get a lot closer to the time frame in question. International weather for your Tuesday, still well below normal rainfall during the next two weeks for the summer row crop areas of the former Soviet Union. A lot of that area seeing nothing in the way of rainfall for the next 10 days. Above normal temperatures there for especially the 6 to 10 and 11 to 15 day time frames. The weather pattern is about to improve in Europe. Still going to be mostly dry all across Europe for today and most of for tomorrow. But after that, we will be starting to see some rains returning to France by the time we get to Thursday and eventually getting into eastern portion of Europe. A lot of Poland, Germany, and France looking at some half to inch and a half rainfall amounts through the end of the 10-day time frame. Easily the biggest rains during that period in southeastern portion of France. There should also be some rain in the 11 to 15-day period as well. We're going to be seeing some improvement in temperatures as well, but that's not before they see some big heat in the very near term. Uh, 90s were seen yesterday in western portion of Germany with lots of 95 to 100 degree heat yesterday in France. Temperatures for this Tuesday will probably be the hottest that we have seen uh, throughout this growing season so far. Note the extensive area of 90 to 95 or even 95 to 100 plus degree heat for this Tuesday across western Poland, all across Germany, the Benelux countries, and into France. We will be then seeing France cooling for tomorrow and even Germany and Poland will be cooling before the end of the work week period and a return to the type of heat that we have seen in recent days and recent weeks clearly is not in the forecast for the remainder of the two week time frame for especially Western Europe. Already by Friday most of France should have highs just in the 70s. Looking at spring wheat areas of the former Soviet Union, very nice rain is going to be seen there over the course of the next 10 days, especially as you go further north. For the corn and soybean areas of China, still looking at a situation where we are looking at some very good rains, even some heavy amounts of rainfall for the next two weeks in far southern Manchuria and into far northern portion of the North China Plain, near to somewhat below normal rainfall, both to the south and to the north of that area. A fairly decent temperatures for the next two weeks in Manchuria, but decidedly above normal temperatures. Re uh, 
uh, continuing for the North China Plain with all sorts of 90 to 95 plus degree heat being seen there on a consistent and widespread basis. For the Canadian Prairie, still a very poor end of the growing season there. Very limited rain is going to be seen there for the next 10 days. A lot of places, nothing at all. And as I mentioned earlier, some heat going to be seen in the Canadian Prairies for the end of this week as well with all sorts of 90 to 95 plus degree highs. Forecast still very dry for the uh, winter wheat areas of Australia. Any sort of rainfall that is going to be significant, limited to just small portions of South Australia and into Victoria. The worst of the drought still going to be continuing into the wheat areas of New South Wales. Finishing up this morning, still not as robust of an Indian monsoon as we would like to see. It will be better than we have seen in recent days, but note that still rainfall not running uh, really much better than a little bit above normal anywhere in, in, in India, and especially for Maharashtra southward, rainfall for the next two weeks still running subnormal. That's what I have for you Tuesday. Everyone have themselves a great day.